And now we have the Ministry of Youth Development Community Participation Award. Te tohu mo te mahitahi. Hey, nailed that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blythe Wood, General Manager of, Art, of Youth Policy and Development in the Ministry of Social Development. Kia ora, Blythe. Uh, good evening. I'm really proud to be here again to present the award for commitment. Um, thank you to the Outlook for some day. We see this as a participation and a partnership, so thank you for inviting us back again this year and encouraging us to continue our, our participation. Uh, thank you also to Mel, who's up there taking a picture at the back, for pointing out that we ought to walk the talk in the Ministry of Youth Development, and to Isabel who was the young person who we actually delegated the responsibility of shortlisting the films for this year. So thank you, Isabel. I can't see you because of the lights, but I know you're up there. Um, the winner of the Community Participation Award, and you're all going to have bruises on your thighs tomorrow, is Power Sustainability in Toro by Olivia Matthews from, and Emma Dolphin from Kintyre College. Power Sustainability in Tōroa is a Ripachan style piece about cooperation between schools and the quest to preserve and grow power populations in Northland. The Joe Saw is an informative and topical documentary that brings science and community to its storytelling. I'm Olivia Matthews and I'm going to give you the latest update on the Power Sustainability Project. This is an area with minimal number of power on the west coast of Ayupada. This is where our project will have a very large impact. The students have built up an ecosystem in a child's tank with the do-it-yourself wave maker that the students made to create a current. The bottom of the tanks have been set up to replicate the power's natural habitat, including large rocks, pink algae, seaweed and small fish and shellfish. We will cross to a welcoming ceremony of the power. This part of the ceremony signifies the strengthening of the partnership between the Karaya College and the Te Rarua Iwi, contributing to the future sustainability of power in our region and the continuing success of their Te Piri Power Collaboration Project. Two level two biology students have the honour of placing the power into their new home. <laughs> My name's Aaron McCoy, Mr. McCoy at the college here. Hi, Aaron. What is the legal size for power? Which is 125, and you're allowed about 10. You're allowed 10. But that would only take me about 15 minutes. But lately, when I've been going out, I've been looking for over two hours in the same areas and only getting two or three legal powers. So to me, I'm looking at thinking it's at least a 90% loss of, of adult side power in the area. Why is the power at risk? The number one reason is that we're taking more power than are being bought. If there were more power born, there would be more to take, but not enough power being born. If we don't do things differently, we can consider them the same way as the moor, the same way as the toiro, that they just won't be available to eat. Stay tuned for future updates on our school project. I'm here on behalf of um, Emma's not here today. Um, I'd just like to thank the Outlook someday for 
making this possible and all the sponsors that donate all these prizes. Um, congratulations to all the filmmakers here today. And I say thanks for the support for my um, mum and my teachers and stuff. I couldn't do it without you. Thanks.